Run-up and cost-down are really critical moments when you're operating rotating equipment. Ludger Feldkamp will explain to you today how the border polar plot will help you to detect any conditions that are becoming dangerous or are below or above the design limits of the machines. Yeah, hello, welcome everybody. So today <coughs> I would like to explain the border polar plot. So that means we have one sensor we use from the two sensors we normally use also for the orbit plot. Here we use a DC information from the sensor. <coughs> what we also need is a key phaser to get the speed information because here we see the information from the key phaser when the rotor passes the key phaser. And then we see from the starting point from the key phaser to the maximum amplitude we see uh, the phase. And what we do here is we show here this phase. We have here the phase. That means we are looking here on a 360 degree angle. <coughs> and this is also the amplitude, the time waveform. So that means here we show the amplitude. And these both information are always shown in correlation to the speed, to RPM. And here we have micrometers. And <coughs> so this is really a very important tool to monitor and detect changing conditions during the run up and coast down of the machine. So it's also named run up and coast down analysis. It's a transient uh, tool. And this border polar plot will start automatically by every start, stop, or safety limit violation of the machine. And we see here the red point that is the starting point. <coughs> then the machine starts up. And by using these two information, we are creating vectors. And so we see here all these different vectors. And that looks like yeah, a kind of orbit. <coughs> so here we have the border information. And here we create the border polar plot. <coughs> and so for example, to explain, here we have 200. So here we have 0 degree, 90 degree, 180 degree, 270 degree, 360 degree. And this is the starting point when the machine starts. <coughs> and by using these two information, we create the vectors. And we see here all the different vectors creating a border polar orbit, <coughs> or in plot, sorry, an orbit plot. And we see here also we are below 270 degree. And then after starting up the machine, we are going over 270 degree. And then <coughs> we will reach here. This is a critical speed. That means when the machine starts, we have the heavy spot and the high spot at the same position. And when we reach the critical speed, the heavy spot is always in the, at the same point, but the high spot will be completely direct opposite to the heavy spot. And that is what we see here. This is when we reach the critical speed. And Directly after reaching the critical speed by 180 degree, we have a phase shift. That means we have a completely change of the phase coming in the other direction. <clears throat> that is what we see here. Here we have an increasing, then it's going back. And then we reach the final speed. So in this case, we see we have one critical speed. But it could be also that we have, in a machine, two critical speeds. So in this case, if we would have two critical speeds, this would uh, looks like in this way, and then it also goes down. So, but in this case, we have only one critical speed. And what we also uh, can do is that we use a set point multiplier here for this critical speed. That means if we have a, a safety system, if we have a machine protection system, <coughs> and we normally have a protection limit. Then we can here use a set point multiplier, which will use a different protection limit exactly during this critical uh, speed when the machine is running up and to avoid alarms, for example. So this border polar plot is a very important tool you use during the run up and coast down of a rotating machine. And this can also be used to detect 
uh, oil instability, unbalance, misalignment, so any kind of failure or uh, uh, problem with the gear coupling or in the gearbox, any kind of failure we would like to detect during the startup or the, to, during the run up and goes down of the machine. Thank you very much, Ludke. I hope this was interesting for you. When you have any specific topics you want us to cover, please um, send your suggestions or uh, via email or just leave it in the comment section below. See you next time here at Intelligent Machine Monitoring.